Hey everybody, my name is Silver, and welcome back for more Bungo Stray Dogs Tales of the Lost here on the channel. It's been a minute since we've actually come back and done more of the ability battles. If you guys did miss the last thing that we did record, which was actually our very first summoning video for Bungo Stray Dogs Tales of the Lost here on the channel. If you didn't miss that, the link for that should be in the cards in the description with a playlist, yada yada yada, y'all already know! But before we do get back into the ability battles and back and you know, grinding our stones again so we can go and make out more summoning videos, if you guys are hype and ready for more Bungo Stray Dogs Tales of Lost here on the channel, definitely make sure to hit that like button for your boys. Well, as consider subscribing to the channel for more anime game related content, as well as more Bungo Stray Dogs Tales of the Lost content. Real quick though, before we do even begin with anything, I want to thank you guys so much for enjoying the little playthrough, I guess you can say, of Bungo Stray Dogs. I love the anime series. I've always wanted to do something about it, especially with this game, so, since I did play this game a lot. And now that I'm doing it and you guys are actually loving it, I just want to say thank you guys so much. But with all of that happy, dappy, sappy, doohickey stuff out the way, I'm going to go ahead and collect these nine things. Now, obviously, yes, there were more than nine, but I just logged in, so this is what they gave me. Uh, I've been locking in for a minute ever since the update, or not the update video, but ever since the, the summoning video. So I did already get all of that stuff. So as you guys can probably tell, I already do have 262 ability stones. And y'all already know what we have to do. Also, when I did log in, apparently the new Ultra Ability Fest Tanizaki Junichiro, you know, the one where it was actually in episode 2, I'm pretty sure, or at least the back alley episode for us when... Octagawa and what's her face? Higuchi actually ended up attacking, you know, um, Detective Agency, yada yada, and he got mad. This is basically where this is from, okay? So this is a new banner. Uh, I could go ahead and summon off of it. I still do have, you know, step 11 for this one. And since I do have 200, I could possibly do it. But I just want to do a single summon just so I can just go ahead and save the rest of my stones. So I'm going to go ahead and do my once per day. If you guys have any type of stones and any type of other games, just go ahead and get ready. And uh, I'm going to go in this dang thing right now. Because if you guys are new, again, we do go ahead and do daily summons. Y'all can go ahead and pull back, but either way, it's going to be 3, 2, 1, tap. And on tap is when we go ahead and do the rest of the things. Pull back, swipe down, tap the button, whatever. 3, 2, 1, tap. I got a blue moon, so I'm literally expecting a rare. I mean, it's a 15. So I'll definitely take a rare. I don't really mind it. If I did end up getting an SSR, which obviously I didn't, I got the same Junichiro that everybody gets every single time they do a single summon, but it's totally fine. It's totally fine. It's totally fine. <laughs> Let me know what you guys ended up getting in the comment section below, especially if you ended up getting anything good. And if you did, then shout out to you all. But with all of that out the way, I guess I should go ahead and show off my character because again, the last time that we did actually play this game is when we did the uh, summoning video. So this is going to be the team that I've been bringing or this is going to be the team that I will be bringing for the remainder of the time before we did actually have this team right here. But this team has done its duty, except for that Yosano right there where uh, her healing ability is OD and I love it. So I might have to make another team for her or just bring that team. But this is going to be my main team. I've actually have been powering up so far, but I pretty, I, I really like it so far, especially since the fact that like for the ability battles, we are still literally on number five and i'm sorry for hitting my mic but we're still on like number five so i mean we got it you know we got it we got it but time to explain in the summoning video i told you guys oh hey i tried to record the new part for this where we actually took on number five the armed detective agency but something happened with my recording and i basically lost everything so real quick i have done all the way up to stage four as you guys can probably tell i've already done one two and three out the way but normally what we do do here on the channel is we go through from if that we go through it from beginning to end and that's the whole entire thing so even if i did do it i still gotta do it and then i'm just gonna go back to the story part and then show you guys the two stories that they actually did show us so first things first i do remember that stage one was actually the first one on here uh let me go ahead and grab me a it is a green unit that I don't have. This is a S plus or SSR plus. Yeah, I'm gonna go in and take you with me, sir. And then let's just get straight back into it. Is everything recording? I was about to say, I gotta check everything first, God damn it. <laughs> we are all good to go, baby. But um, let me go ahead and just, actually, I was about to say, I definitely wanted the beat down gauge. I'm totally fine with getting 
or at least w with not getting everything up because again we do major damage now that we ended up pulling all three of the brand new units plus i mean our levels are mad high and if i hit that red one oh if i would have hit that right one i would have been able to get the beat down gauge so we could have been able to use it in this third time but there's no need you want to know why check this out every single new character that we ended up pulling does damage like this Asushi right here does 11 uh, attack damage. I'm actually gonna go ahead and focus on you real quick and then do it. Check this out. Kill, right? I'm gonna go ahead and focus on you. The Chulia that we got does 12.5 crimson damage plus the fact that this is uh, type effective, it did more. Even the Atsushi that we got does times 11 light damage. I don't even need <laughs> I don't even need to do anything anymore, bro. All I gotta do is hit a button and they all die. So that fit scare that we actually did take as a friend, I actually do want to keep him because I did end up using him before, but it never gave me the chance to. Maybe because he was already a friend. But either way though, I'm gonna go ahead and take on stage two real quick because I'm pretty sure that we are still inside the Army Detective Agency. Take you again. And uh keep it moving, god damn it. And then after this one, we'll go ahead and go back through the first and second story and then keep on continuing on. I did not mash a blue, but we should be fine. And I'm only saying that because of the fact that it's like everybody is going to die either way because of how freaking overpowered my team is, <laughs> which is a great thing. I do want to get an SSR plus since I do know that that is the very next thing to get, but, uh, Again, I'm going to have to go ahead and back and do the events that I actually do need to do, aka the ones for the power-up orbs. I still need the ones for the awakenings as well because I have been doing the ones for the awakenings. That's kind of why my rank is 18 now, other than what it was before in the last video. But I've been doing those. I've been doing the easy ones, the normals, the hard. And I think I can only do up to stage one on the very hard one. But that's because I'm taking this team and I don't have my healer, aka the Yosano that we ended up pulling with me. But with all of that out the way, stage one and two is done. I have to go ahead and watch the main story because it was this one, right? Yes, sir. Part one and part two. Let's go. Let us go, baby. Chapter four, part one. Oh, yeah, that just didn't say anything. Okay, I, I was actually waiting for it to say something. You alone are my target, Were Tiger. Your friends on the ground over there are nothing but collateral of your own doing. This happened because of me? Indeed, it was your doing, Were Tiger. You bring misfortune to those around you just by existing. It's all my fault. Supernatural ability, Rashomon, or Inoyoku, <laughs> is what they call it in the in the English sub or the Japanese dub, baby, yes sir. Octagon with black coat begins to writhe and transform into something. The tip of the black tendril was a beast-like visage that also, or that almost, resembled a face. But again, because you guys can see the whole white background, this was a dream, so there you all go. Where am I? Atsushi, who was sleeping on a bed in the detective agency, opens his eyes. Kunikita sits in the chair by the bed. He looks at his journal with his glasses resting on his forehead. I see you're awake, kid. Kunikita? Of all the times, you sure know how to mess things up. Atsushi sits up in bed. I... Atsushi remembers his leg being severed by Octagawa's black beast, Rashomon. I was attacked by the Mafia! Atsushi begins to remember what happened. He remembered Naomi being shot by Yuguchi and her blooded body hitting the ground. He remembered Tanizaki losing control and using his light snow ability to try and kill Iguchi, only to be put down in a single blow from Octagawa. Nah, Kunikita, what happened to the others, Tanizaki and Naomi? Don't worry, they're both fine. Are they really? Yeah, Tanizaki's being treated by Yosano in the next room. Here we go, goddammit. Look at you, all battered and broken, Tanizaki. You really like my treatment, hmm? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Tanizaki tries to get away, but his arms and legs have been restrained and he cannot move. Let's try something special this time. She moves closer to Tanizaki and for some reason removes her own shirt. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah! 
<laughs> Yo, what the hell? Man, this is the one thing I always love about that is that's because of Yosano. I don't know what she did, but I know in the anime, they literally showed her taking off her clothes and she was wearing like her little strip bra or whatever, man. She was stripping down and everything climbed on top of Tanizaki. And the only thing you hear is, uh, and I was like, what the hell, bro? <laughs> but anyways, is that really medical treatment? I heard, kid. What? About the seven billion bounty the black market hats on your head. Huh? Seven billion? You moved up in the world. No wonder the mafia are losing it over you. Seven billion? Oh my goodness, bro. You alone are my target, Wear Tiger. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's just how it is. So that's what it was all about. Well, what do we do? The Mafia might attack the detective agency. But why are they after me? Kunikita continues to read his journal calmly. Don't let it shake you. What? It's true that the Mafia take their violence to the extreme, but don't let that shake you. Kunikita turns the page of his journal. A shaken warrior is one who dies. Words of wisdom from my mentor. Um, your journal, it's upside down. Kunikido flips his journal in the correct position and slowly stands up. He then proceeds to scream at Utsushi. I am not shaken. I would not lose my control or I would not lose my cool over something like the Mafia. In fact, if they were to burst in here right now, I would destroy them. Kunikida is really stressed out about all this. His explanation is strangely animated. Utsushi hangs his head as if bothered by something. That's just how bad it is for the agency. It's all because of me. They'll come for us. Ugh. You brought this upon us. The worst case scenario might even occur. Think about what you can do when the time comes. What I can do. Kunikita heads towards the door of the infirmary. By the way, kid. Have you seen my glasses? I've been searching for them all morning. As they rest on top of his head, right? Yeah, exactly. But with part one out the way, I'm going to go ahead and watch part two. And uh, let's go ahead and get this dang thing rocking. I do know, though, that it's the battle one, battle... No, it's battle one, then it's part one, battle two, part two, and then it's battle three or something like that. Or it's like battle three, and then part two. I don't know. But since I'm here, I might as well just go ahead and get and just get it all out the way so we don't have to click back and forth and back and forth. But a middle-aged man with the monocle, Hiruzo, stands with in back. What the? Oh, stands with his back to the wall of a dimly lit area. Yeah, the spelling is really like messed up on this, but it's fine. I definitely know what they're trying to say. After some time, he casually puts a cigarette in his mouth and goes to light it. Hitsura puts away the cigarettes and lighter upon hearing the echo of footsteps in the alleyway. Just as he abandons his cigarette, a man dressed in black appears at his side. It's time. Hirutsu heads towards the warehouse with a group of 10, mad, or 10 men clad in black behind them. They appear to be under Hirutsu's command. Upon reaching the steel doors, Hirutsu issues a single order to them. Stand down. The men clad in black do as they are told. Even though I should feel like I should probably give him a uh, an older voice. So, <laughs> Hiruto stands in front of the steel doors and slowly closes his eyes. He then gently places his hands on top of the doors. As if hit by something, the doors are torn off their hinges and blasted into the warehouse. Inside the crate-filled warehouse were roughly 20 workers. They appear to be unloading and organizing the contents of the crates. The workers are in their state of caution as the men clad in black pour through the doorless entrance. Gentlemen, excuse the interruption. Who the hell are you? We're just here on a little business. It won't take long. It seems some insolent folks have been selling Port Mafia's good to the sly. Rumor has it that this is where they operate out of. We're here to see if there's any evidence. You don't mind if I take a look inside these crates, do you? While he is still speaking, one of the workers takes a steel pipe and goes to smash it across the back of Hiruto's head. However, Hiruto catches the power-filled blow from the steel pipe effortlessly with his fingertips. 
It looks like we found our evidence. The next instant, the worker and the pipe in his hands are blasted across the warehouse. The worker who was blasted across the room looks at the steel pipe in horror. It was twisted and contorted. What the hell? This is hard steel! Is this your first time to see a supernatural ability? He to place his hands on the worker's shoulder and immediately the man's body begins to twist and contort itself in the same manner as his steel pipe. Yeah. The other worker stared dumbfoundedly at the butchery of the body as it falls to the ground. Hiruto takes out a cigarette and places it in his mouth and lights it at this time. He calmly inhales and then breathes out a cloud of smoke. Kill them all. The moment Hiruto utters these words, roughly 10 of the men clad in black step forward and open fire with machine guns. They are killing these people, bruh. That's what happens when you cross Port Mafia. Not even bothering to look back, Hiruto walks out of the warehouse as the workers are torn apart by bullets. That's crazy. Outside of the warehouse, Hiruto listens to the echoes of screams and gunfires as he enjoys another cigarette. There's nothing quite like a cigarette after a job well done. That's crazy. Can you actually smoke a cigarette like after a job like that, bruh? Like, honestly, me? Nah. I don't do cigarettes, but still, um, I think that was stage two, so we do have to do stage three, then stage four. But again, I'm going to see. Yep, I was about to say, I'm going to see if I can find the same freaking unit because I actually want to see what he can do and at least, you know, read it and understand it other than just looking yeah, at it and just be like, oh, shit, you know, that's it. But game or not, failure is not in my vocabulary. Get a, a marble large for two turns doubles the number of clear affinity orbs for two turns. I actually like that. I would definitely love to use that, but I really do not have the need for it <laughs> uh i was about to say i wanted to break it but i forgot you have to hit it three freaking times to break a large orb but they're all gonna die anyways my goodness uh let me do that way yeah i was about to say can i hit something please <laughs> i just kept going back and forth and back and forth like come on bro all right should i even uh I'm, i might as well do this I like that. I really do like that. Matter of fact, this is a blast marble. If you guys don't know what blast marbles are, literally, if you tap the marble, it explodes. And we got the all clear from that. But real quick though, if you do end up tapping the blast marble at the very beginning, it'll just stop and explode like that and you can't get anything else. So basically, choose wisely, you know, or choose your timing wisely, I guess you can say. But with all of that done and out the way, we are finally done with stage three. So we can finally move on to new and better things, which means that I can actually now start getting, um, what's it called from it? Ability crystals, because I need ability crystals in order to summon, since I'm not going to lie to you guys, the, uh, the money for these things, bro. Like these things cost a lot of money <laughs> for some stones, bro. The prices are some kind of cheeks and I'm not with it. I'm definitely not with it, but we really are just killing things left and right. Oh my freaking goodness. Uh, That means I really don't have to worry about trying to hit anything too freaking hard because I'm mad over leveled. <laughs> Two, three. Oh, look at that. Somebody survived. You lucky sly dog. Why did you survive? You're not gonna survive now, goddamn, but you definitely dead with that little sliver of HP you got. But on this third battle. Yeah, I don't need that. Uh I might as well just pop the marble. Again, if I wanted to, I could just pop, you know, everybody's uh like their skill and everything and just kill them one, two, three, you know, and have that be that. But there's really no need for it. <laughs> there's really not, which is why again I love being over leveled, but eh. Cause we're like running through this now, but that's not what I wanted. I wanted these. Thank you for the five. I don't care about the money and let's move on to stage five. And matter of fact, I just realized that I'm going to have to start using my stones, especially because, uh, especially because of the fact that like now, like before when we tried to record all of this stuff, everything was still at half, but I'm guessing it was only like that because of the the 3.5 million downloads? That may be why everything was at half, at half stamina. I'm not really sure, but either way, it's gone now. So that means that I might have to spend some, uh, 
some stones in order to keep going. But, I mean, it's a price to pay. You know, it's a risk to I would gladly have to do. But, I do know that this Octagawa does damage. So, go ahead and do that. Go ahead. Yes, sir. That is mad fast. And then I need you. Yes, sir. Things are finally getting interesting. Dead. Simple. <laughs> It's that simple, you know, <laughs> shout out to that. But shout out to clearing all of that stuff. All I want is the ability stones, yes sir. And chapter four, part three is ready to watch. So crazy enough though, if we do end up like running through all of this stuff like real quick, I guess it's also a good thing, but we can't do that if I just sit here and talk. So let me just get back to it. Atsushi who has just recovered was now out of the bed. The sound of an explosion captures his attention. Ugh. Upon looking out the window, it's she sees smoke rising from the port. An explosion. The warehouse that Hiruto just assaulted had exploded and was left in ashes. Smoke still bi or billowed from the remains and the police were investigating the area. Some local citizens were also watching from afar. Among them was Atsushi. Apparently everyone in there was killed. What a mess. The police say that it was done by the Black Lizards, a special task force that was vicious even by Port Mafia, or by Port Mafia methods, or methods, Black Lizards. I heard they're as tough as the special force units and terrifyingly menacing, less, yes, yes, that word, God damn it. <laughs> the Black Lizards. If they were attacked the detective agency, Asushi begins to imagine Port Mafia kicking down the doors of the detective agency and shooting everyone inside, which is a really bad thing to imagine, but... It's fine. The worst situation. Atsushi lingers in place. In front of him was a telephone booth. And it's... Wait. And it's glass as she could see his own reflection. There you go, goddammit. In a dimly lit office, it's a woman. Her phone begins to ring, and she answers it. Who am I speaking to? It's me. Where, Tiger? Ah, he got my number from the business card I gave them at the detective agency. The last time we met, your friends were lucky, or your friends were there to help you. But I don't think you'll be that lucky again. What do you want? I'm gonna quit the detective agency. I'm going to quit and run. Catch me if you can. Ah, so you want us to leave the detective agency out of this? It's kind of mad simple, and he just hangs up. <laughs> so she hangs up without responding. On the other end of the silent line, Higuchi thinks for a moment and then stands up. She issues an order to the man clad in black who was, sta or who was stationed outside. My bad. Gather the black lizards. So what is going to happen next? Oh my goodness. <laughs> for those of you guys who are new, y'all literally would not know what's about to happen. For those of you guys who have watched the anime, read the manga, played the mobile game, you know? We know. <laughs> We know, Atsushi is literally trying to make sure that Port Mafia does not attack the R Detective Agency, but maybe don't you think that he's taking this Detective Agency a little bit too lightly, you know? Like, they are THE armed Detective Agency, and I understand that they just got attacked by THE Port Mafia, and everybody, or not even everybody, literally three people got fucked up by Octagawa and Higuchi, not even Higuchi! Well, a little bit of a Higuchi, you know. But literally, everybody got messed up by Octagawa, and it was literally Tanizaki, Naomi, again, who Naomi, one, does not have a supernatural ability, so that was bound to happen. Tanizaki was just there to protect his sister, and while he was on it, it just happened, just so happened that Octagawa just came up and just said, chink, <laughs> die. Like, it's that simple. And then, Oct Octagawa, Atsushi would be the third, you know? Because he got his leg bit off, but he transformed into the tiger, and then Dazai stopped the action, and yada yada yada, you know what I'm saying? So technically, he was fine, because he was able to regrow the lost limbs, but... What can you do? Oh, yeah. Oh, I do have some drinks. Would you look at that? Uh... I'm kind of close to that. So I'm gonna go and use the half. Am I good now? Yes, I am good. Okay. The only reason why I wanted to use the half is for the fact that the, uh, 
the little wheel where it does say 18, the little red thing that goes all the way up to the top basically says how far or how much closer that you have left to being, you know, the next rank higher. And mine really wasn't that high up. Well, it was like a little bit there, you know. So I feel like if I'm able to, you know, continue the rest, I should be able to reach rank 18. And if not, then I'll just use another half since there's no reason to use the full. Unless I do end up realizing lately or too late, I guess I can say that I will need to use that 100%. I'm perfectly fine with it. I'd rather use those than stones, goddammit. So, uh, yes. <laughs> but, can I get the red one? Why would you stop right there? That's the one thing I hate about this game, is that they literally stop right there. You literally give me like that much space left until it's done. But, what can I say? I should have used that half. Okay. I was wrong. I was definitely wrong. Chapter 4, Part 4. Okay. We are busting through this. I like that. I definitely like that. What's about to happen now? Carrying his bag on his shoulder, Tsushi descends the stairs with a determined expression on his face. He runs into Kurikido, who just exited the elevator with a large amount of documents in his arms. Ah, there you are, kid. Things are real mess because of you. Chances are we really end up facing the worst possible scenario. Help me with these. And Tsushi ignores him and continues down the stairs. Hey! And Tsushi stops and turns around. Don't worry. Huh? The worst possible scenario isn't going to happen. The detective agency is safe now. What the hell are you talking about? And Tsushi continues down the stairs and leaves. Hey! Get back here and help! Where the hell are you going at a time like this? <laughs> kind of seems like Atsushi is dipping the agency like he said he wanted to, you know? Be gone, you miserable wench. You're not wanted here. Not here. Not anywhere. The world would be a better place if you just curled up and died. Crazy enough, huh? Because he's really feeling that. He is really feeling that, bruh. Even in the middle of the day, the alley between the high-rise buildings was dark and gloomy. The man with the monocle, Hiruto, leaned against the wall of the alley. Next to him was a handful of men dressed in black. Hiruto draws a cigarette and sparks his lighter, but eventually puts the cigarette away. A young man, Tachihara, approaches with the number of men behind him. You're late. Two minutes late. You need to learn how to relax, old man. This place isn't dismal at all. So where's Gein? Is that Dirk Lake too? He's here, right behind you. A shadow lurks behind uh, Tachihara. In the darkest part of the alley stands Gin, clad in black. Jeez, you're as creepy as ever. You know that? Before he even finished those words, Gin vanishes from behind Tachihara and appears again right in front of him. Gin has drawn a blade and was pressing it against Tachihara's throat. You want to make something of this? Tachihara had also drawn his pistol in the blink of an eye and had it aimed at Gin's abdomen. The two glare at each other. Enough, you fools. Or would you both like to be reported as killed on assignment? The two grudgingly put away their weapons. Okay, okay, chill out, jeez. The sounds of a phone ringing interrupts them. It was Hitsuro's phone. Everyone is here. Good. So, what is our target? Your target... ...is the Armed Detective Agency. Not the Were Tiger, but the Agency. The Agency's interference was the cause of the previous failure. I won't let it happen again. We will start by destroying the Were Tiger's only support, the Detective Agency. Seems like Hiruto's not keeping her word. Not even that she... ...made a word. So... There you go. <laughs> Do you mind if we kill them all? Not at all. Very well. Higuchi's face showed a stern expression after she hung up. Octagawa must not be stopped by the likes of a detective agency. Yeah. Yeah. So, Atsushi's whole plan was to have the arm, or was to have the entire Port Mafia to be against him. So that he can run and leave them behind and everything. But Higuchi knows. 
that the art detective agency is going to come after him anyway. So it's like, why not? I might as well just go ahead and just attack the what's the cause. I never gave you my word. You just told me you were going to leave. <laughs> like, that's literally it. That he, he hung up the phone. Like, I'm sorry. I, I just got to kill your friends now. Like, that's just it. So I would love to say that it's Octa or it's not Octagawas. It's a sushi's fault. I keep on getting the freaking names mixed up, and I don't know why. It's probably because they both got A's in their name. But that's beyond the point of what I'm trying to make. Atsushi messed up because he never said directly, oh, hey, this is what should happen or, you know, fuck with me, basically. Like, if he wanted to, he could just say, I'm a store in Port Mafia. You know, I don't need y'all. But even he's smart enough to not try and fight them because, again, he's just the were tiger who doesn't have control over his ability, you know. Damn, how did you survive? You're lucky I ain't used beat down on you, big fella. I got a little bit too cocky. Maybe I should have used it. See either that or maybe I should have just used everybody's ability, you know, and just ding, 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 cleared them all out. <laughs> but we're done either way. And the more I do these, the more I realize that, oh, hey, I probably just should have used, uh, you know, the 100%. But who knows? Stage nine. Is there anybody new I can take? Uh, I have a red. I have you. I have, I don't have a green, I have a yellow, and I have you, or I don't have you. Uh, uh, wait a second, it's the greens. Um, I'd rather not take the level one, so I might as well just take you. Again, SSR plus, I'll definitely take it, you know, especially for the fact that his ability is amazing. And I would love to pull this unit, but again, I never had the chance to, so... I don't know, it's like, I'm fine either way, I'm fine either way, so. Battle 2. Oh, oh my goodness, I moved my phone back, goddammit. So yes, if you guys are curious, I did low-key get like another cord with me. Well, I mean, I've always had two cords. I don't know about y'all, but I always have a car charger on me, as well as a charger that I have in my room. And the one that I'm using right now is the car charger, so nothing should disconnect like it normally does, but... Again, you know, we should be fine. We should be fine. We should be fine. If it does end up connecting, that just means I got to go buy another one of these. And these cords are like, because what is it? An iPhone cord? iPhone cords nowadays, they're like, what? Like 15, 20 something dollars. Like the freaking iPhone headphones are goddamn $25, $30, you know? Might as well save up for some beats, you know? <laughs> oh my goodness. What the? How close am I? I'm not even close at all. Let me use this freaking... There we go. Thank you. Goodness gracious. It got me all the way up to 54, though. I'll definitely take that. But I've never used you before. So we might as well, right? <laughs> what is the new meme that came out? <laughs> oh, I love that thing, bro. I really do. Come on. Come on. That girl has a fire sprite, by the way. My goodness. Two out of three. Um, yes, that is exactly what I wanted. That is ex exactly what I want. I probably should have aimed for the yellow ones, though. Never mind. I guess it really didn't matter. <laughs> I really don't think it does matter anymore what I do end up aiming for. But you do damage. Demon Snow plus plus. Damn. Talk about damage. That means somebody definitely ended up pulling you a lot. Because... I kind of like how in the last summoning video or the first summoning video that we did end up doing here on the channel, I pulled another one of Oda Sasuke Nosuke, I'm pretty sure is his name. And on screen, I ended up throwing him into the skills, which ended up giving me like his skill plus. And then I'm pretty sure if we get him again, then it's his skill plus plus and yada, yada, yada. But either way, chapter four, part five, I'm pretty sure. <coughs> A young girl sits alone in a cell. Fear death. Fear killing. Those who seek death shall have it as they wish. Atagawa coughs once before speaking again. People with no value have no right to breathe. Atagawa's coat transforms into a black or into a blade and creeps towards the girl's chest. It stops just before touching her. Crazy enough though, because in the anime it went to like the back of her neck and it did touch her so eh, you know but whatever the girl shows no reaction and quietly continues to stare at the wall 
Your resolve is commendable. I will give you purpose. Or I will give you a purpose to live for. Which again, crazy enough, just ends up being the same girl that we chose for the mission. But that's neither here nor there. I finally found a reason to live. A reason to live, or perhaps I should say, I've learned why I'm alive. That's right. I've been alive all this time just to commit a lover's suicide with you. I'm sure of it, my beautiful little bird. Feel free to do it on your own. It's not a lover's suicide when it's alone. By the way, Dazai, I don't suppose you have life insurance. Why do you ask, my sweet? Your tab with us was getting really big. I can find something good for you if you like. A nice, sweet life insurance plan. Ah, your zest of life is so invigorating. Yeah, oh my goodness. Oh, if you're going to avoid the question like that, I might have to invite myself up to your office on the fourth floor, you know? Ooh, the way you take charge like that is even more invigorating. And as I found himself a little boo thing, yes sir. Hiruto, Tachiharu, and Gin approach the entrance of the office. The men clad in black have already have the area surrounded. They don't even have guards? What a sloppy operation. Hiruto clicks his fingers and the men clad in black ready their weapons in preparation for the assault. He raises his hands and presses his fingertips on the office door. The power of Hiruto's supernatural ability blasts the detective agency's door in. Over a dozen men armed with a machine gun storm the office with trained expertise. Ugh. Whoa! Your. Forgive the intrusion. I forgot to make an appointment or even knock. The Port Mafia's black lizards. I'm sure you'll forgive us. This won't take long. Tachihara again and the men clad in black draw the weapons with murderous intensity. And made the battle at the armed detective agency begin. Stage 11. Oh my god. We are killing it. Yes, sir. How y'all doing today? I hope y'all are doing really good. Um, I've been doing pretty good. You know what I'm saying? Uh, had work today, but it's not really that hot outside. So your boy was chilling, as you guys can probably tell. I'm rocking my hoodie. Shout out to the uh, Indakuba hoodie by the end. Yes, sir. Had to end up getting erecting. You know, the merch for the boy, you know, shout out to Indakuba. But on the uh, other side, I really did want to play this game. It has been a minute, and uh, I would love to try and bulk record this game for you all so I can go and pump out episodes like that. But I'm not going to lie to you all. I might as well go and activate beat down while I'm here. I'm not going to lie to you all. Um, talking a lot is really, really, really straining. <laughs> So that's kind of why I try and do my episodes daily, you know, especially since, you know, I get the daily, especially since, you know, I get the daily summon and I don't have to waste more than 15 ability stones a day, you know, or even more than that. Because, you know, if let's say if I were to record the next episode after this, I'd have to waste 25 and yada, yada, yada. And I do know that we do end up getting five every single time. But still, you know, when you're free to play like me, you got to save those stones. You got to save those stones because you never know when you'll be able to get them again. But with all of that out the way, again, I hope you guys are having a very good one. These stages are getting mad easy because of our characters. But like always, I'm fine with that because we just get the mode through shit faster and then, you know, pump that out for you guys. Because I know you guys know, or at least if you guys aren't new. Damn, wait a second. What is this? Uh, Give me the marble tree piece. Yes, sir. Any last words? I want to do this real quick. I love that. Damn! I didn't expect that, sir. I really didn't, but I will definitely take the piercing effect. Oh, I love that. That just means it went straight through? Yes. 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 I was about to say, I knew you were going to survive. I think my piercing effect is gone now, though, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, that sucks. That sucks. But that was nice. I really did like that piercing effect. I low-key want to... uh. Summon a lot more so I can go ahead and pull more SSRs. Can I actually stop and use beat down real quick? Uh, excuse me? Can we go back in place? Yes, thank you. <laughs> I'll always try and do that and try and like set it back into place if it doesn't just work out for me in the end. Oh! See, I commend you for trying to creep higher and higher and higher to get it. But even you were mad slow, big fella. Even you were mad slow. Like, I... 
I ain't even try and throw it up like that and I ended up getting it. I had beat down the last time. Ooh, I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. But we won. So can't really be too mad, goddammit. Three. I'm going to say no to that one. And stage 13. How many stages are in this battle? 14? Oh, it is 14 because the boss battle's next. Let me go back to a green one. I'm going to grab you again, sir, because you are amazing. I would love to say so myself. But the waves are now moving on to four. So I don't know how I feel about that. They're no longer three waves, and y'all just got your attack up, but you're about to die anyway, so really doesn't matter, you know? Yeah, there you go. Battle two out of four. Your effect is the marble bass for two turns. I can actually go ahead and pop that right now. Because I just have to hope that I can go ahead and kill everybody in these two turns. Oh my gosh. I, I don't even have to explode. It. I really don't. I really don't. There was it, was it wasn't even next to anything. I got the kills, so I'm fine with that. But can I get an all clear by doing this? No, I could not. I probably should have just blew it, blew it up when I was up there. Two, three, four. Yep. Saw it coming. All right. Can I bounce it off the wall? I got my beat down. Did I? No, I didn't. Aw. Yo, what happens to homie's attack? God damn. What is he, an S++? Plus plus? You know I got to give me, or SSR++? Plus plus? I got to give me one of those. You see how his attack was at, like, 11,000? Something like that? That's hard. <laughs> I don't even know how much uh, HP these regular guys have. I was just doing 25k and it killed him automatically, so I'm pretty sure like the wiki or something says it, but there's not really a need for me to look. But finally, the boss battle. <laughs> finally, we are here. Can I get... Who was it actually that gave me the what's it called? It was the girl for the piercing effect. It was your level one. Ah, I'll just take you. Yeah, I was about to say. No, it wasn't. It was the Oda. It was the Oda Sasuke Nosuke. I should have... Man. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. What can I do? You're the Marble Blast for the, with the explosion. Uh, Bounce you off of you to hit that. Yes, sir. Yes. Oh! Would have been perfect. That would have been perfect. Y'all see what I was going for, though? I was trying to hit the blue one at the end and then bring my way back up to hit the yellow one. It didn't happen, but, I mean, what can you do, I guess? Am I fine with that? Am I gonna kill anything? Ooh. Shout out to the sync strikes. <laughs> Shout out to the synchronized strikes. Now, hey, how y'all doing? I might as well go and pop this shit now since y'all wanna show up. Y'all think y'all big shit, huh? Let me do that. Yes, sir, got them both. Uh, Yeah, if I would've popped that, there was literally no, no need for it. You guys are alive after that, huh? You know what? I'm gonna do it about like right here now. Oh, that was not that great. I did crack it though. Food for thought. <laughs> That's all it is. Y'all are dead. Now give me what's his face. I I'm pretty sure his ability is called the Falling Camilla or something like that. And the only reason why I do know that is because I did actually have the unit on my team the first time I played this game but again you know we're doing this on the channel so I wanted to restart and I didn't pull in which I'm totally fine with because the unit that I have now are absolutely amazing and gorgeous so chapter four part six chapter four part six let's go be gone you miserable runch what uh, 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 no, 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 no. I don't feel like reading that anymore. How many times are we going to see that in this entire game, bruh? <laughs> they were right. There's no place for me to go. At that time, intense gunfire broke out of the distance. Gunfire? It sounds like it was coming from... The people on the streets looked in the direction of the gunfire. It was coming from the building of the armed detective agency. Glass burst from the windows following the gunfire. The detective agency? Why? Cause she ain't keep up with your word, bro. Atsushi runs as fast as he can back to the agency. Is this happening again because of me? Atsushi screams the moment he bursts into the office. 
Stop it! But the scene that his screen fell upon was Kunikita effortlessly slamming Hirutso to the floor. What the? Hirutso lay on the floor in the state of bewilderment as Kunikita overwhelmingly combat pow pow rats what? Huh? Okay. There we go. Kenji hammers one of the men clad in black with his fist. Chachi, Hari, and Gin were already sprawled out pathetically on the floor, completely unconscious. Hiya! Yosano kicks another one of the men across the room. Ronpo sits on the desk with a pile of unconscious mafia nearby, sipping his Ramune drink. A Ramune, I'm pretty sure is what it's called. I'm sorry about that. Hmm. Finally decided to come back, huh? Hirutsu rises in pain at Kunikita's feet, his arm twisted and locked. What the? See, this is why I hate surprise attacks. My work schedule is a mess now. Reform the office to replace damage adding isn't cheap either. They brought machine guns this time. That was exciting. It's your turn to go apologize and offer gifts to or offer gifts of compensation to the people we get complaints from Kunikita. Ugh, the world or the world Huh? The worst possible scenario couldn't be avoided after all? Yeah, 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 huh? This is the worst possible scenario? What about the Port Mafia combat unit that just attacked? Really? <laughs> Kunikita, what should we do with these guys? Toss them out the window. Sure thing. Kenji mercilessly throws out the Mafia silence out the window one by one. That shit was so funny to see in the episode, bruh. <laughs> this happens all the time, and it's really starting to get on my goddamn nerves. This happens all the time. I'm starting to think of the detective agency as way more dangerous than Port Mafia. Don't just stand there. Help us clean up. Wandering off like that at a busy time like this, you're a member of this agency. Didn't I tell you to think of what you can do? Which, at this point, it's probably just cleaning the place up. My man was thinking for no reason, bruh. Think about what you can do. My man was thinking so hard for no reason. As soon as she begins to understand the meaning of Kunikita's words. Oh. <laughs> Overcome by various feelings, as soon as she begins to laugh and cry at the same time. Damn it, if you got time to laugh, then... Huh? What? You're crying now? I, I am not. What do you call those tears, then? I said I'm not crying. This is the problem with kids like you these days. Give them work to do and they wander off. Give them a little reprimanding and they start crying their eyes out. No, that's not what this is. Are you, are you trying to tell me those aren't tears? They are, but it's not what you think. Yeah. My man Sushi had literally nothing to worry about. Nothing at all. But with that done, we are one step closer to being done with this entire story. I, I, I'm not even sure how far the story goes, but we're going to go ahead and do stage six crime scene in the next episode. But all that done, I'm going to end up this episode right here. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you did enjoy, do not forget to hit that like button for your boys. As well as consider subscribing to the channel for more anime game related content, as well as more Bungo Street Dogs Tale of the Lost content that. here on the channel. I'm going to go ahead and accept these gifts. And then obviously in the next episode, like I said before, I will see you guys when we take on the crime scene ability fight. Have a good day, have a good night, wherever you are, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.